My name is Bob Chua. I'm 60 right now. I'm a dancer for almost four years. I'm Christopher Yeo. I've been on dialysis since uh, March 2016. What, how I got my kidney problem is because initially have diabetes. Doctors say that you know my kidney, the, those veins in the kidney, the capillary, is already worn out because of the diabetes. I was diagnosed with diabetes at my first pre-employment checkup, and then when I think back to what caused it, I, I realized that it was a lifestyle, and because I had classes from 8:30 in the morning to 10:30 p.m., so I ended up taking like three cans of coke a day. By the time I realised it was a bit too dangerous, I think the damage had been done already. I didn't know that diabetes was so bad that it can actually, you know, harm our person, our kidney, and also not only the kidney, also the heart, the eyes, the, the leg also, you know. So even when I came back, uh, when I was diagnosed with diabetes, I didn't make very much lifestyle changes. Maybe you only stopped drinking coke. And the thing was, there was no symptoms, there was no obvious symptom that something was wrong. But all that time, damage is being done, but you don't see the damage. During this time when I contacted diabetes, I was not uh, really bothered about it, you know, I don't really care. I thought, you know, I have diabetes, no symptom, so why bother? One day, he called me out for checkup again, he found that, hey, Mr. Chua, your kidney is no good, it's really twisted less than 20% of usage already. I think you need to do dialysis. Wow, that's the, I feel that it's the end of my work. So by the time I realised something was wrong, it was um, 2013 when I had a, a minor stroke. So that drove me to actually go see the doctor and do a full checkup. And that's where the doctor told me that my kidneys were failing. During the time, nothing was stressed on diabetic. The word diabetic is just like a normal sickness. Uh. Oh, oh, you got diabetic, okay? Go, go and see the doctor, get the medicine, take the medicine, that's it. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like, you know, it's like cancer or anything like that. Or oh, are you worried? You have to prepare for this, you know? So, obviously then I tried to take care of myself, but it was really too late. Nah. It was really too late to pre make any preventions. It was just trying to make things getting from getting worse too quickly. Well, I think the most important thing is to exercise. All right, exercise, take care of the body, and uh, also eat properly. Lah. Go for a good diet, eat less sugar. I think sugar is the killer. Because like what I say, uh, even though you don't take very sweet things, but a lot of food have sugar, carbo. Eat everything in moderate, less or sugar, less salt, and less oil. Thinking back to if I was 15 again, you know, and what could I have done or what could have been done differently for me or what would have helped me to take note that I could have diabetes? I think it was information. And for the younger ones, especially those with poor um, habits, eating, lack of exercise, um, I think this is the group of, of kids that needed, needs attention. Even now at this stage, huh, it's a long-term kind of uh, medical expenses that I have to do. So, no choice, we have to still carry on with my treatment until the rest of my life. Lah. <laughs>